Hello, hello. Hello, guys. I am finally doing an update to my most popular video on this channel, which is how to not get scammed on Grailed. Uh, I'm going to be doing a two-parter where the environment of Grailed, ever since I posted that video, I've been getting questions, DMs about like legit checks. Is this listing real? Yes or no? Um, I provided that video in order for people to sort of make their own judgment because there's no way for somebody to be 100% infallible and a 100% um, kind of scam free. Everybody gets scammed, everybody gets bitten in the ass, everybody gets burned once in a while. Uh, but this is just supposed to help you kind of make your own educated decision. I'm going to split this into two parts. We'll be having it in two separate videos, so pick whichever one interests you or if you're interested in both, just watch both of them. This one is going to be the buyer's guide. So the buyer's guide is sort of similar to the previous one, except I'm going to update it for Grail as it is modern. A lot of things have changed. They have done a lot of um, great stuff, a lot of questionable stuff, and a lot of things have like sort of shifted around a little bit. So let's talk about it. So number one, sort of reiterating what I did do in my first video, look at the profile. See if they have just a random string of numbers, see if um, how many reviews they have, how many items they've sold, how many things that they've um, how many people are following them, etc. Just try to get a sense of whether or not they are human or not, as well as if they are using like an account for them to like just dump, where it's like they'll scam somebody real quick and then delete the account and then they don't care if it's get banned or if it gets banned. Something that I did mention is that like, yes, although um, some profiles may have zero purchases and zero transactions, they might just be a new user. I've gotten a lot of comments in the description are like, you just fucked up my, my grill because I have zero transaction. Also as a buyer, if you are looking at high ticket or high hype, I should say, um, items, and it's a seller profile that literally only has like one item that is extremely highly valued, sought after, um, as well as if the deal looks too good or just the photos are kind of shoddy. Um, I would say those things are sort of indicators to be a little bit cautious. Um, not necessarily completely like, well, like, you know, like hands free, but I would say be a little bit cautious. You can also see if the user only has a handful of transactions. You can see whether or not, because Grail just recently added this in, if they're like a speedy shipper, if they're a trusted seller, or if they're like a quick responder. I think those are like the three new metrics that they added as well as if they're a moderator or an admin. Um, those two things are pretty much guaranteed to be legitimate. Uh, as well as Grail has recently incorporated an authenticated by Grail thing, which I think is interesting that they're providing authentication uh, services now, which is kind of hard for a lot of items, but I would say that yes, that is something to look at and whether or not um, you can trust this profile or this listing. And like number two, um, look at the listing in itself. Look at the photos, um, do a reverse Google image search, see if it's appeared on either Reddit or any other websites. Uh, look at the description or the product description, see if it's well made or if it's shitty vocabulary or if it's very 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 short where it's literally like seven out of ten great like that like those things kind of um are a little bit like being like you know it like triggers like a little bit of like an alarm in my head where i'm like this guy might not be 100 percent legitimate as well as make sure to read the listing and like know exactly what you're getting uh, the photos could look great, but the description says like six out of ten rips and tears. At that point, you want to ask the buyer or ask the seller what the heck is like rips and tears, etc. Um, as well as just inquiring a little bit more, which leads into my next one. Talk to the seller before purchasing. Before purchasing, I suggest really um, don't purchase out of the blue. Make your presence known. Send them a message. Hopefully they reply within 24 hours. If they don't, then kind of ease off. And then I say you'd rather be safe than sorry. Then go through the whole process of like PayPal transaction, like 
claim as well as going through the whole process of um, contacting Grail, etc. But let's say um, let's say they do reply, they are cooperative, then you should be good to go, even though they might not have like good reviews. But know as a buyer, you are protected by both Grail and PayPal. Another thing um, for those that are purchasing high ticket items or high priced items, uh, do your own legit check. Um, there are so many legit checking tools, websites, videos. You can uh, you can up yourself in knowledge wise of like what to look for for fakes. You can even go on like Reddit. I I think they have a subreddit called like sneaker like reps or sneaker replicas. Um, you can compare and contrast uh, legit pairs to the listing pair to like the best like replicas or whatever it is out there. And then you can kind of see like pros and cons and like see if there's like a legit or not. Um, the only hard part is that if they've been worn, then there's a little bit of like a discrepancy, but there are certain signs that you can kind of look at to see whether or not they are a legitimate pair or if they're a fake pair. I also do suggest uh, checking out Facebook groups. Facebook groups are a brevi of um, information, knowledge, people who have done legit checks even before, you know. Um, the rise of Grail, or during the forum days, there'd be like entire legit check, uh, like threads that like people would just like post their shoes, like, oh, is this legit? And there's people that are trusted, people who have knowledge. So ask away, but don't be like kind of snotty and like just like post that and like demand like a legit check. You can just be relatively nice, post to a few different groups. My final, I guess, word of advice for buyers is definitely, definitely, definitely. Do this over PayPal or over Grailed or at least PayPal. As a buyer, it doesn't necessarily matter too much in the scope of things where I would say that you are protected by PayPal and or Grailed if anything goes south. Either if the buyer doesn't respond, they send you the wrong item, they send you um, the item that isn't as described, as well as they send you. Um, or they don't send you like the item properly, whether it be like the item gets damaged in transit, etc. That isn't on you, that's on the seller because the seller has to ensure that the item gets to you properly. So if anything heads south, um, contact the buyer first, I would say. Uh, talk to them. If they don't reply or if they're being a little bit difficult to deal with, I would say do two things. File a PayPal claim as well as contact the help desk on Grail and tell them that this uh, seller is being particularly difficult or if um, if they're being difficult, they won't ban them. But if they're just straight up, flat out not responding, then they'll ban them or put them in like a purgatory where they can't list anything, they can't sell anything. Uh, make sure to do that to protect other buyers from, um, from these guys as well. So you want to at least kind of quarantine them off and then you'll eventually get your money back. Let's say for whatever case, um, PayPal does not side with you, which is very rare, but let's say they don't side with you. Take screenshots, take all the information that you can from either chat logs, um, chat logs from PayPal, emails from PayPal, the, um, the item that you got, etc. cetera. Um, take photos and all of that and Talk to the Grilled help desk and talk to them about like, hey, PayPal didn't side with me. Um, I am completely in the right. I don't know why they didn't. Here's all the information. Um, and, an uh, and another thing, do not ship back the faulty item or the item that is incorrectly um, sent to you or damaged or whatever. Do not ship it back until you get confirmation that either you've won the case or you've gotten the money back. Because then if you just ship it back, there's no guarantee. So yeah, I hope that this has helped a little bit. Um, my DMs will be open for questions, uh, kevin.img, but I have to say, um, please don't send me like DMs about like whether or not this, this off-white t-shirt listing, is this real, bro? I've been a big fan. Like, I, like thank you for the support. Thank you for the compliment. Um, I can't, I can't, do the legit checks. I'm just not 100% versed on all sorts of products. I'll try and help if I can, but definitely those people on those Facebook chats or other websites, or maybe just doing your own research for your own kind of purpose or interest, 
Uh, I think that is extremely valuable. Um, and yeah, this has just sort of been like an updated how to um, purchase or a buyer's guide or how to not get scammed as a buyer on Grailed. Um, the part two will be for sellers. So stick around. I will have a link in the description as well as a pinned comment um, for those that want to just go straight to that or vice versa. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, follow me at kevin.img at Instagram as well as my grail is in the description down below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, uh, stay safe on grail. Peace. Visualize, uh, yeah, I would this visualize, is when you were broke and poor. You know, right, having directors.